filming this intro on a different day than I filmed the rest of the video, but that is okay. I am in such a bad reading rut and I really, really want to get out of it. So I thought of, tried to think of like five different ways of how I could get out of the reading rut and I thought we'd explore that together. Before we get into the rest of the video, hello, welcome back or welcome if you're new here. My name is Angelica. I make a bunch of different videos. I'm really excited this is a book one because I love making book videos. I try to diversify. I have some planning, I have some DIY, and I have a lot of book videos. We're by my bookshelf. In a second, I'm gonna show you me rearranging this and explaining all the different sections. But that is my tip number one. Rearrange your bookshelves. F discover what books you already have, what books that you forgot about. Um, either, when I went through them, I definitely found some where I was like, oh, I totally forgot I had this, or the plot of this sounds so interesting. So that's my first tip. I'm talking to you now after doing all of these, and let me tell you, I'm out of my reading rut. I'm into my reading groove now, so I think this worked. All right, back to the video. <laughs> We're back to... top shelf I put all the books I have read, my poetry books, the Cowie Sisters, and then these are my DNF books. Harry's in the back overlooking everybody. The second shelf is all my literary fiction and romance books. And then this shelf is all my fantasy books, my uh, fiction books that were kind of like the same size as these so I just stacked them on top. Um, my thrillers are all over here, and then I have two nonfiction, and then a play, and the graphic novel right here. So yeah, that's what we have going on for now. I am satisfied with it. Hi guys. I want to bring you closer to me. Good morning. <laughs> um, I've had an evening to ponder over my bookshelf and I like it. I like that all the genres are grouped together. I like that I have my books that I've already read right at the tip top. I'm just really comfortable in this chair. I'm leaning back. I'm taking it easy. I like the bookshelf. I'm happy with it. I already, just by going through it, I was reminded of books that I liked the synopsis, synopses of, and I'm like, oh yes, I want to read this book. I like that, I like that plot that they're portraying. So that's exciting. Still not super, still not there. I'm like getting there, getting there, but I'm not there yet. The next thing on my list was to visit my library. Sometimes like visiting library, check it out a book, even if you're not going to read it. Kind of gets you in the zone. However, I don't know if you can hear. It's raining. Quite heavily outside. I don't mind rain. Yeah, I just don't want to go. I just want to go outside. <laughs> no excuses. Um, I just enjoying this inside moment, cozy vibes with the rain outside. Also, my library doesn't open for another like hour and a half. So instead, I'm going to focus on creating a cozy reading area. I have my chair, as you can see. I love this chair. It's a little messy around it. There's blankets, there's some papers and packages. It's a little crazy around, around the chair. I'm going to tidy it up. I'm going to get it cozy. Too hot. Still too hot. Okay, reading moment is set up. Oh no, my battery's gonna die. What's new, bitch? Uh, I have my iPad pulled up. Number three I put was to annotate books I've already read or do a book journal spread. Um, weirdly though, I'm kind of in the mood to read. 
so <laughs> this is good that means this video is working the rain's like extra loud in my office because this is like an extension to this house that we live in so i will i like really hear the rain over here anyways i will definitely take note of this for future stuff but there are books i would like to annotate there are book journals i'd like to do i might do an, a video in the future like a just a the ultimate book video where we do some book journaling we do some annotating um maybe we go book shopping together but for now let's move on to number four which is try a different form of book that you don't already read so for me i'm gonna try to read a hardcover audiobook really getting out of my comfort zone trying something new i feel like sometimes when you change up your routine it kind of like either gets you motivated or it like pushes you back into your comfort zone you were like i hate this i want to pick up a kindle or a paperback even more and kind of like motivates you in like kind of a reverse psychology way so i went and looked what was available at my library right now and I was able to get the Vanishing Half audiobook um, on my phone right now. Sometimes Libby app is like your library. It connects to your library card. Super handy, especially if you want to spend zero doll hairs. We're going to try it out. I don't know how long I'm going to read for. I'm just going to go with the flow. It might be, maybe it's a chapter, maybe it's a couple chapters. We'll see. Okay, um, it took me a hot minute to like get in the zone. Um, audiobooks can sometimes be super hit or miss for me. People's voices can just like turn me off to even wanting to read. So The Vanishing Half is about these two sisters, the Veen sisters, that are identical twins. And when they're 16, they like run away from home and their responsibility and they decide that they want to take on different lives than what they were raised to be in their small town. Um, it takes place in the south and in like a small town so like everybody knows everybody kind of a thing and one day I think it said like 14 years later um, one sister comes back to the small town bringing her daughter who is very very dark skinned um, both the sisters are black, but they have light skin, and so when the one sister comes back with her daughter, she, uh, we find out she married a dark man, and therefore her child has dark skin. Um, and then we learn that her sister decided to be white, and so I guess she's trying to be, like, more white-facing. Um, it seems very interesting concept of, like, race and... Uh, culture and society's approach to that and reaction to that uh yeah I don't know I'm kind of I'm kind of interested surprisingly the lady's audiobook her voice isn't the worst it's it's fine I think it works with the book really well sometimes just like the people's audiobook voices just like push me away um I I'm tempted to read more, but I also want to get to our fifth tip that I want to share that I thought of. So I thought of for our fifth tip is to go on book speed dates. So we kind of did our first speed date with The Vanishing Half. I read the first-ish part. Um, I'm going to grab, I think, three or four other books from my bookshelf, and we're going to go on speed dates with them and either read the first chapter or, like, the first few pages. So when I was organizing this yesterday, I was reminded that I really liked the plot of Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. Um, she struggles with appropriate social skills, tends to stay exactly what she, say exactly what she's thinking, nothing is missing in her careful life. And then one day she meets Raymond, the IT guy from her office who's big heart and ultimately help Eleanor find the way to repair her own damaged one. It just sounds really cute. So I'm gonna do a speed date with this guy. 
I'm also going to do a speed date with Daisy Jones and the Six. This is on my February TBR. I want to read it before the show comes out, so we're going to do a speed date with that one. And hmm, I think I'm going to do a speed date with If We Were Villains. This is being my last one. Okay, this seems really interesting. So, uh, Oliver Marks is released from jail, and this detective visits him on his last day and says, basically, Oliver, tell me what really happened on that day that sent you to prison. And Oliver's, like, super reluctant, doesn't want to share what happened, and eventually he's like all right i'll tell you but it's after i'm released and no double jeopardy or nothing i'll tell you what really happened so it's like kind of a mystery kind of a thriller we already know that oliver was sent to prison so like it's he's telling it from the future which is interesting um okay i would i would go on a second date with the book i would go on a second date with the vanishing half too and i think i would go on a second date with if we were villains Um, I'm about 14 pages in. It's good. It's kind of like um, set up like kind of like an interview style where different people take ta turns talking, um, which is kind of interesting. It's kind of like a documentary talking head setup. Uh, Daisy Jones and the Six, if you don't know, is about Daisy, a girl in the late 60s, sneaking into clubs. She's gorgeous. She has beautiful blue eyes, red hair. She's enigmatic. People are drawn to her. There was a line I really liked that said, like, if the world is silver, Daisy is gold. I thought that was really a great line. Yeah, I, I liked it. Would I go on a second date with it? I think so. I think I'm more drawn to those other books, actually, than this one, but I still, I still liked it. Our last speed date is Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. I've had this in my collection for a long time. So I'm actually excited to give it a chance. So let's let's go on a little date with Eleanor. reading Eleanor Oliphant. I don't know if I'm in the mood for this. She's very like um negative. <laughs> She's nonchalant. She kind of just like goes on her ordinary little life and I feel like I have to be in a certain mood for this but I don't think it's the book to get me out of my reading rut. So although I enjoyed our little date we're gonna go on a second date another time. Maybe we'll like pass each other in the grocery store and decide to try again. So of the four books I went on a speed date, I need to pick one to read. I'm kind of leaning towards If We Were Villains or The Vanishing Half. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it took you some tips on how to get out of your own reading ruts. Let me know if you have any suggestions yourself put them in the comments i'd love to hear them like and subscribe if you want to see more of this little face i'd love to see you around next time i do lots of different videos like book videos i'm working on a diy video right now i think that's all i want to say i'll see you next time happy reading bye